Hey guys, so today we are going to plan in the Happy Planner. It is my favorite planner next to my Target Dollar Spot Planner. Yes, I do have multiple planners. And that is another thing I want to bring up. You can have all kinds of different planners if that makes you happy. And you don't have to be this person that has a super busy life or even a busy life to have a planner. You could have a planner for your pets. You know, when you like want to mark that you feed them, when you take them on walks, or when you give them treats, or when they go to the vet, like when you take them to the park, like all of those things. Planning doesn't have to be, I don't want to say the word important because pets are important, but it can, the point is it can be anything that you want. So if you want to have a planner for being a mommy, if you want to have a planner for yourself, if you want to have a planner for your job, um, for your goals, um, for cleaning, for recipes, I mean, the options are endless. So just want to throw that out there um, just in case maybe like you see what I'm filling in in my planner it doesn't mean that um, if you feel you're not as busy as I am that you shouldn't have a planner I I'm not even that busy so but what's fun about the planner is it gives you an opportunity to see what your life does look like and maybe if you want to add something fun like something as simple as a spa night at home or a neighborhood walk, you know? So I just want to throw that out there because one of the things that breaks my heart the most is when I see someone say, oh, I'm really not that busy, but hey, listen, if you love it, you love it. So there's that. Okay, so here's my month at a glance for May. I already did a video on this. This was two weeks ago and then this is the current week we're in so we're on Sunday the 15th and I mean is this spread not the cutest thing ever okay so we are actually going to work on this week right here I won't be talking throughout this whole video but just through parts of it also this is my new planner that I made myself it was a DIY using a Dollar Tree gift bag this is a Dollar Tree gift bag. So I will link that video down below for you if you want to go check it out. Here's the back. So before I go ahead and get started, I want to go ahead and share with you what my inspiration was. You probably already know by the title of this video, but yes, we are going to do a poison ivy spread. So recently I did a Wonder Woman spread and I'll actually show you what that looks like. Here is my Wonder Woman spread. It is my favorite spread ever that I've ever done and I'm obsessed with it. And I know that I had a ton of people request more and more heroes and stuff like that. And I thought, you know what, why don't I do a villain? Because that would be really fun. And Poison Ivy is probably one of my favorite villains alongside like Harley Quinn. Um, but Yes, Poison Ivy, we are gonna work that out today. However, if you're not into superheroes, um, but you like the rest of the spread, you could just do like a wild, like, Ivy Roses theme. So you could just, you know, not look at the Poison Ivy photo, and then you could just do like a little wild garden kind of theme. So throwing that out there in case superheroes is not like your cup of tea, which is okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've had someone ask me this before. They're like, if you know you're gonna cover up the weekends, why don't you just do one huge box for them and you know, I guess the reason why is because I don't want to have to memorize the dimensions and I already know what the dimensions are for the boxes. It's 2.3 inches by 1.5 inches. So I guess that's really the reason why I do that. Okay. 
Some people also might ask um, if my planner gets thick from like the little stickers and stuff that I add. And the answer is yes, it does, um, but I'm okay with that. Now there is absolutely nothing wrong if you like love flat stickers and Etsy stickers, they are extremely beautiful. To me, it's not, um, it's not necessarily my style. Um, it's very, it looks very convenient and um, the spreads look beautiful, but again, it's not really my thing. And I've also been asked if I um, keep my planners after like the year's over. And yes, I do. I've actually always have kept my planners even when I was using my Walmart planner. So way back when I did um, the very first planners I started doing, and this was before I even knew there were planner videos on YouTube. Had no idea there was this whole like planner community. That's how I found out about the Happy Planner was, um, I think someone told me about it. But I used the Walmart big planners, it was like by Mead, and I've used those for like the past 10 years and then got the Happy Planner and I basically dropped that other planner like a bad habit. Have no regrets about it. Okay, once I have these put down, Sometimes I also print out my own stickers. I'm actually gonna do a video about that, but not yet. Um, so no stickers today in terms of like um, images that I find on Google and I print it on a sticker paper and then I put it down. I'm not doing that here today. I'm actually going to keep this somewhat simple, but not really. So once I have these down, the next thing that I do is I add my washi. Usually for me, this is just how I feel, especially since I don't always have that much going on, I'll, I will put down uh, the sticker if it's a really large sticker. So before I write anything in. So what I'm saying is if I have a large sticker, I put it down first and then I work around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down these. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and fill in some of my stuff and then we'll continue on with some stickers. of my to-dos that I need to happen next week. I also want to use my hobby planner to put down um, my YouTube videos, but I also like to keep those a secret just in case I don't actually get to complete them. So if you guys see it, I don't want to set the expectation that I'm going to do it and then if I don't get that done, you know, stuff like that. So I'm actually going to include my videos that I'm going to do for this week in this little envelope and you'll see that later. So um, the next thing I wanna do is actually go over my pen marks in a marker. Yes, this is something I like to do. I think that it just makes 
it look prettier in my opinion. And that's the purpose of a planner is to make it pretty so that you constantly look at it and then you um, are more likely to get these items done. I also wrote in that one of my favorite shows, the finale, is on Monday, and I do watch RuPaul's Drag Race. I was a huge fan of Chi Chi Devane, but she was sashayed away in the last one, and I was livid. Um, I really loved her story, and... So I was really upset that she didn't make it. So, but um, I guess if I could choose who I want to win, it would probably be Bob. Bob the Drag Queen, that is his drag name. Um, I really like him. He seems like a really, really good person. I mean, they all are, at least what I see you know, on camera, they all are like really, really great men. I think I want to go ahead and start adding my Ivy to this. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. Also, these were at Hobby Lobby as well. So these were $1.99, but um, the Paper Studio stickers were 50% off. So these were basically 99 cents. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. Poison Ivy. Of course we have to add her Ivy, don't we? I think I'm actually going to cut the Ivy here because it's a little too long for some of my spaces. There, that looks a lot better. So because she is Poison Ivy, I do want there to be a lot of it because, you know, it's everywhere in her world. I think I actually want to say Poison Ivy on here. I think that it would be really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to put it right here or if we're gonna put this on my envelope. So I always love adding a little envelope to my planners, to my weekly spreads, because that's where I kind of put a lot of like secret stuff that I don't actually wanna share um, in my videos, especially like the videos that I'm gonna attempt to do for the next week. So, and it's also just like additional writing space and things like that, and maybe if you don't wanna put like what you're making for dinner on here. You could put your little menu in here. Um, but I actually use my Target dollar spot to put what I'm gonna have for dinner. But I do have like a lot of repeat stuff. A lot of stuff that is on my Happy Planner also ends up on my Target dollar spot planner. And I'm just fine with that. So, hey, whatever makes you happy. There are literally no rules. This is a picture that I just found on Google Images, and it is Uma Thurman. So you can definitely pick out, you know, like a cartoon Poison Ivy. You can actually pick out the actual comic villain um, Poison Ivy. So you just go to like Google Images. So I think I'm going to add her like this, and we're gonna go ahead and glue stick her down. In case you're new to my channel, I don't typically film my planner videos like this. I typically just um, put on some music and do a speed through. But I know a lot of you like my talking videos too, so I try to like balance it out. I also have these pearl stickers from the Dollar Tree, and they're just perfect for this because it gives it like a pop of red.
the next thing I want to do is figure out where we're going to put her. I definitely don't want her at the bottom because I don't want to cover up the roses. So I know that I want, I think I want her about right here. We're going to use this as our little template. Yes, I do know that Happy Planner makes the little hole punch. I haven't gotten around to getting myself one. I haven't even gotten around to getting myself a good hole puncher, period. This is from the Dollar Tree and it's awful. I mean, it does the job, but it's uh, sometimes it's really difficult to punch through um, thicker items. And now because I'm using the Happy Planner, we do want to cut the slits a little bit wide like those. just I don't know I'm obsessed with this I think that I'll probably be doing planners till I'm like 90 mm -hmm. I think I will oh my gosh I'm literally I just I just can't like in love. In love. Honestly, I think that what's going to happen at this point is I'm going to pick up another happy planner so that I can do two spreads a week for you guys because I love this. And 52 weeks in a year is not enough for me. I think that I, I'm I'm speechless. I'm I'm so in love with this. I hope that you guys loved it too. I hope that this makes you happy and it inspires you. And above all, the most important message I want to give is that you do not have to be busy to do a planner. And what ends up happening is you, you get a glimpse. You visually get to take the stuff from your brain and dump it. You dump it on here and then it can, and then you can see what you're doing, what you're not doing. Um, yeah, so, but again, planning's not for everyone, but if you love planning, if you love watching the videos, I urge you to try. If you think there's nothing for you to put down, start with something simple, like when you do laundry, when you clean, the TV shows you like to watch, um, when you have to put your trash out, just things that you actually do. So just start there and you never know where it can take you. Poison Ivy is this week's spread. Thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more superheroes and villains because they're already on my list. Yeah, you have no idea what's coming. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.